In just a few minutes, you can simply set up abandoned cart and checkout automations to increase conversions and to entice potential customers back to your store to complete their purchase. These are two of the most important automations that you can set up inside your store. And today, I'm going to share how you can use a leading and free app to do this called OmniSend. Okay, so just quickly, before we go ahead and launch into this brief Shopify tutorial, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel. And with that quick note out of the way, let's go ahead and set up an abandoned cart and check out automation inside Shopify using OmniSend. Okay, so to simply set up an abandoned cart and check out automation for your Shopify store, we're gonna use the app called OmniSend. To get started with OmniSend for free, simply head over to your browser and type in omnisend.com or click on the link in the description below this video and that's going to take you here. This is a leading and free all-in-one email and SMS marketing platform built for e-commerce businesses and designed to seamlessly integrate with Shopify. To get started, click on start free and navigate through the step-by-step -step process of creating your free OmniSend account. To save some time, I've already done this so I'll meet you inside your OmniSend account. Okay, so now that you've created an OmniSend account, what we're gonna do is head back into Shopify and install the OmniSend app to connect OmniSend and Shopify together. Inside Shopify, navigate down to Add Apps, then click on Shopify App Store. Then navigate up to the search bar and type in OmniSend and locate this app here. Then navigate down to the OmniSend app. You can see that they offer a completely free plan. This is more than sufficient enough for most small e-commerce stores. Down here, you can see they have high ratings as well as thousands of reviews. Let's go ahead and install this app. Then click on install, and that's gonna take you back inside your OmniSend account. Now, if you see the option to connect Shopify, then simply click here, add your Shopify store domain, and click on connect. And it takes less than a minute to connect OmniSend with your Shopify store. Now, if you're completely new to OmniSend, what I've done is created a full tutorial that will take you through all the different features that OmniSend has to offer. What I'll do is link that up above and down below in the description if you wanna check that tutorial out. Again, this tutorial is gonna help you get the most out of OmniSend. Today, we're just gonna focus on automations and in particular, the abandoned cart and checkout automation. Okay, so let's navigate up to automation and this is where we can set up our automations. Now, when you first signed up to OmniSend, you would have seen the option to add your brand colors and styles. If you haven't done that yet, you can navigate back over to Dashboard and see the option to add your brand colors and styles in here. That's gonna make setting up automations a lot quicker as all your brand colors and styles will be automatically added to these automations. Okay, come down, click on Preview and Start Workflows. And here we want to turn on the abandoned cart and check out workflows. Down here, we can select a discount code value for the third email. And you can see a visual representation of your abandoned cart and abandoned checkout automation. And both these email flows are very similar. With the abandoned cart, if you've already captured the email of the website visitor and they add products to their cart and then they abandon the cart without reaching the checkout, then after one hour, they will be sent this email. Then after another 11 hours, if they haven't converted from this email, they'll be sent this email down here. Again, if this email fails to convert that website visitor, then 12 hours later, the third email will be sent automatically. And this is where you can add a final discount to entice that website visitor to complete their purchase. I'm going to come down and click 15% and then continue to set up. And the abandoned checkout automation is the same as the abandoned cart automation in terms of the sequence of events. The only difference with the abandoned checkout automation is if the customer, the potential customer, makes it through to the checkout page and they leave the checkout page without making a purchase. That's gonna add that potential customer to this email automation. For now, we're just gonna use email only and then click on start workflow. However, you can add SMS to your workflow if you like. However, this costs money, so we're gonna leave this out for now and click on start workflow. We can always add SMS to our abandoned cart or checkout automations later. And in just a few clicks, you can see that your abandoned cart and checkout workflows are now active. Let's come down to show my workflows. As you can see, we have the abandoned checkout and abandoned cart. For the abandoned checkout, the first email is sent one hour after the customer starts their checkout. And the abandoned checkout, first email is sent one hour after customer adds an item to cart. And you can simply navigate up here and add additional workflows. For example, if you wanted to add a workflow that captures customer product reviews, you can simply do that here. Now, if you wanna learn more about capturing reviews or manually adding reviews to your Shopify store, 
then what I'll do is add a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description, which will walk you through the process of using OmniSend product reviews. Again, I'll add all my relevant OmniSend tutorials and resources down below in the description. Now let's come down and first customize this abandoned cart checkout. Simply navigate over to these three dots, come down and click on edit. And this is where we can simply customize the abandoned checkout workflow. If we navigate up here, you can see this is the trigger and you can make custom changes over on the right hand side. However, we're going to leave this as default. Then navigate down to the first email that is sent. So as you can see, this first email is sent after the checkout wasn't updated for one hour. Essentially, the potential customer has abandoned the checkout. So this email is sent. If we navigate over to the right hand side, this is where we can customize this default email. Here we can change the subject line if we like. We can also add emojis as well as personalization. Then we also have the preheader. We can customize this. We have the sender's name and the sender's email address. So this is the information that your abandoned checkout recipients will see. Then what we can do is navigate down to edit content. And that's going to allow you to actually customize the email that is being sent to your potential customers. Now in the beginning, if you added your logo as well as your brand styles and colors, automatically these will be added to your email templates. Okay, so I'm going to click here and I'm going to center align this logo. Then I'm going to navigate over to this text box and I can make custom changes over on the right hand side. Here we have a bunch of formatting options. However, again, I'm happy with the default. If I click on this text box, again, I can make changes here. If I navigate over to layout, this is where I can customize the layout of this section here. Again, I'm happy with the default. If we navigate down to complete your order, this button will take the potential customers back to their order. And the products that they've left at their checkout or cart, if we're looking at the abandoned cart email, the potential customer can see down here. Now, if we navigate over to library on the left hand side, we can add other elements to our email template. For example, we can quickly add a button, image, video, and these other options down here. If we navigate over to saved items, you can see your saved items. We also have saved layouts and then header options. If we want to add a new header, we also have hero image, email body, dynamic content, product listing, image gallery, and footer down here. So it's really easy to customize these email templates by simply dragging the different elements into your email template, just like this. Okay, so I'm actually going to go ahead and delete this element and keep everything as default. Let's go ahead and click on finish editing. Okay, so we've taken a look at the first email. Then if we navigate down the page, we have wait 11 hours. So if the potential customer has not converted, has not jumped back over to their checkout and made the purchase, then 11 hours later, this email will be sent. Again, we can click on this email and make changes on the right hand side, as well as edit the content before moving on to the third email. Simply make changes over here if you like. I'm happy with this default content. Then click on edit content. And again, we can edit the email itself, the third email that is sent if the potential customer has still not converted from my two previous emails. I'm going to navigate up here, click on center, navigate over here and change this content. I have a special offer for you. Then we have this text down here. Here's a reminder not to find yourself thinking I should have bought it when I could. I could change this text if I like. And then down here, we have the 15% discount code. Now, the great thing about OmniSend is everything is integrated with your Shopify store, meaning that this content here, this discount code is automatically generated when this email is sent. So you don't have to jump into your Shopify store and create the discount code and then add that discount code in here. OmniSend will automatically generate this code for your potential customer. Okay, so I'm happy with this final email. I'm gonna go ahead and click on finish editing. Now back here, what we can do is also add other options. For example, we can add an additional email if we like. We can also add SMS messages as well as push notifications. If you wanna learn more about push notifications, again, I'll add the relevant tutorial down below in the description. We also have access to these flow actions. We can add a delay similar to this delay here. We can also tag a contact. This is if a contact does something in particular. We can also add a split. For example, if an email recipient engages with one of our emails, then they'll be sent down a different flow versus if that recipient did not engage with our email, then they'll go down a different flow, which could be a different series of emails, SMS messages, or push notifications. Then you can also add A-B testing. Okay, so let's navigate over to update. 
and then close. So just like that, we've gone ahead and we've customized the abandoned checkout email automation. You also want to do the same with the abandoned cart. Simply navigate over here and click on edit. Again, the email flow is exactly the same as with the abandoned checkout automation. The only difference is this trigger over here. Start the workflow after added product to cart wasn't updated for one hour. So again, take the time to customize your three different emails and then click on update and then close this automation. And just like that, you now know how to enable an abandoned checkout and an abandoned cart email automation. This will ultimately help you drive more sales. Hey guys, just quickly before we get back to this video, I just want to mention my Sheetify CRM, an all-in-one business toolkit and CRM built with Google Sheets and designed for Google users. You can simply manage leads, customers, tasks, engage in email marketing, manage your inventory, tickets, and more. The great part is I've made this Sheetify CRM a one-time payment, no subscriptions, unlimited access, and future updates. If you're interested in learning more, you can find the link to my Sheetify CRM down below in the description. Okay, so with that covered, let's go ahead and get back to this video. Now, it's important to note that the abandoned checkout as well as abandoned cart will only trigger if you've captured that website visitor's details like their email. In order to capture these details, you need to create a form. And what you can do is simply navigate over to forms, come down, preview and launch form, and you can simply go ahead and create a form like this. You can add different items from the left hand side as well as click on these different items and make customizations here or over on the right hand side. And this is a three step pop up form that will appear on your website pages. If we navigate down to step one, we have a few different behavior options for this form. For example, the visibility, show on all devices, as well as display. And we can choose page visits, time on a particular page, scroll depth, or if they intend to exit this website page then this pop-up will appear. Again, if you wanna learn more about forms, you will find a relevant tutorial down below in the description. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and enable this form. Once you've enabled the form, what we wanna do is set up a welcome workflow. Simply click here. And remember, our form had a 10% discount offer, so I'm going to click 10% and then continue setup. For this email automation, I just wanna send emails. And as you can see, every new subscriber will now receive a welcome email with a 10% discount code. Simply come down to show my workflows and let's navigate over to this workflow here and then click on edit. And then we can go ahead and customize this email. So remember the form that we embedded on our website? One minute after they add their email address, this email will be sent. Here's a 10% discount off your first order to celebrate you joining us. Again, what you wanna do is take the time to edit this content. However, the default content that OmniSend adds to these emails is sufficient enough. The great thing is you have complete freedom if you do want to customize each of these email templates as well as their behavior. Again, this 10% discount will automatically generate. Let's go ahead and finish editing and click on close. And you can create any other workflow that you like. Simply come down, click on create workflow, or you can choose from these pre-made templates, a welcome email, a welcome email with one email and text. You can see we've already set up an abandoned cart and abandoned checkout automation. Then we have a few automations down here, request review. We have a back in stock, shipping confirmation, order follow-up, cross-selling and more. However, that is everything that I wanted to cover in this abandoned checkout and cart email automation tutorial for Shopify users leveraging OmniSend. And there we have it guys, that is it for this brief OmniSend and Shopify tutorial showing you how to set up these two important automations. Now if you have any questions about this process, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe, and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone.